Okay. In this lesson, we learn the following. Brothers and sisters, Najahatu Labu Kulluhum. Najahatu Labu Kulluhum. Is there a typo there? It has to be Kullu. Why Kullu? Because it is a Tawkid. Tawkid for what? Tullabu is marfu. So it has to be marfu. Kulluhum. Illa Khalidan. But then, look at it. Khalidan has come. It is Mansu. Why? It is Mansu. That's, we are, no, it's not hall or anything. No, 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 no. Uh, it, it has got nothing to do with mafulun bihi, hal or tamiz or anything. This is a new thing we are learning, brothers and sisters. Okay? So here is the explanation. The translation is, all the students have passed except Khalid. Okay? This is an example of al istisnau What is the meaning of al istisnau Exception. I have written on the board, brothers and sisters. Inshallah, you will see it. The istisna has three elements. Are you with me? The istisna has three elements. What are they, brothers and sisters? Adatus tisnai, the instrument. Mustasna menhu. And then mustasna. They are the three elements. So we are studying al istisnau which is exception. Okay. al mustasna it is the thing that is accepted. And in the above example, it is Khalid. Are you with me? If you look at the example, Khalid is mustasna. Okay. al mustasna minhu, it is the thing from which exception is made. Huh? But you got to really use your mind and understand and ponder over the sentences. And in this above example, it is to love. Okay. And adatul istisna, it is the tool of exception, which is illa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Illa. Huh? In the above example, illa is harfun. It say particle. There are other tools also, and these are seva and ghair. These are nouns, and ma ada and ma khala. These are verbs. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. I should write down here instrument. And maybe I should write down here, tool. Huh? Since Dr. Saab has mentioned tool, we'll write down tool also. Brothers and sisters, the kinds of istathna, how many kinds are there? Okay. Inshallah, I will explain you in detail. Huh? Keep the sentence that Dr. Saib is giving us in your mind and then figure out. Huh? If the mustasna is of the same kind as mustasna minhu. Remember, mustasna minhu and mustasna are of the same kind. Okay, same kind. Then, <clears throat> the istasna is called muttasil. What is it called? Muttasil. What is the meaning of muttasil? Uh, uh, it means, uh, this is the name given, Muttasil. Okay, it means there is a sentence in which there is a Muttasna Minhu and there is a Muttasna and they are of same kind. Uh, they are of same kind. Uh, okay, fine. In the above example, Khalidun okay, is a student. Here is another example. Zurtul bilad al urubbiya. Zurtul bilad al urubbiyata. See, here is kullaha. Why kullaha? Because it is emphasis for mafulun bihi, bilad. Illa 
Yuna na. So what is Yuna na here? Mustasna. Where is Mustasna? Minhu? Huh? Biladal or Bilad. Huh? Okay. So are they same? Yes, Yunnan is a country in Europe like other countries. So it means the Mustasna Minhu and Mustasna are of the same kind. I have visited all the European countries except Greece. Greece is a European country. Fine. Number two. If the Mustasna is wholly different in kind from Mustasna Minhu. So, brothers and sisters, here is a sentence in which both Mustasna and Mustasna Minhu are mentioned. But they are not of the same kind. Are you with me? They are not of the same kind. For example, if that is the case, then the mustasna is called munkateon. Okay? Vasala duyufu. Translation, brother? The guest arrived. Illa amtiatahum. Translation, brothers and sisters, the guests have arrived except their luggage. So where is Mustasna? Amtiata. Huh? And where is Mustasna Minhu? Do you, are they of the same kind? No, they are not of the same kind. If you see a sentence like that, huh, then you will say, it is Munkateo. If the mustasna minhu and mustasna are of the same kind, then you will say it is mutasil. What will you say? It is mutasil. Inshallah. Inshallah, you will revise everything tonight and tomorrow we will try to, you know, complete the lesson. Uh, inshallah, in detail. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. It is obvious that the baggage is a wholly different in kind from guests. The meaning of the sentence is that the guests have arrived, but their luggage has not yet arrived. In the Quran, Ibrahim salam says about the idols. For innahum, now this is a verse from the Quran, huh, brothers? For innahum adunli illa rabbal alameen. Surely they are enemies to me, except the Lord of the Universe. Okay. It is obvious that the Lord of the Universe is not eh, of the kind of the idol. So this sentence also will be called, what will it be called? Munkation. Eh? Munkation. Now these are the terms, inshallah, you will uh, try to understand. And tomorrow we will be using, using it very frequently. You know, eh? From another point of view, brothers and sisters, from another point of view, the istisna is tamun or mufarragun. If the mustasna minhu is mentioned, it is tamun. Are you with me? It is tamun. Eh? Okay, it is complete. Okay, as in the previous examples. And if it is not mentioned, what is not mentioned? Mustasna minhu is not mentioned, then it is Mufarragun. Okay, are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ma ja illa hamidun. Okay, ma ja illa hamidun. Translation, brother. Nobody came except Hamid. Huh? Fine. Okay. Ma raitu illa Hamidan. I saw none but Hamid. Now, tell me one thing, brothers and sisters. Ma ja. If I put here, one word. 
ma ja ahdun. What did I say? Ma ja ahdun illa hamid. Huh? So what will be ahdun then? Mustasna minu. So it is not mentioned there. Are you with me? Huh? We are going to practice a lot. I'm just, right now, I'm just trying to throw a few things here and there at you. Inshallah, you will catch it. Huh? If I say, Ma ra'aytu ahdan, then ahdan will be your mustasna minu. And in both these sentences, mustasna minu is absent. Huh? Then we will call the sentence mufarraq. But if you had ahdun and ahdan, then what will you call it? Tamun. Yeah, that's the idea. This lesson, as usual, in all the lessons, uh, the vision of Dr. Sai is so beautiful. Uh, and he explains with so many examples, left and right, that if you study this lesson, you have a very comprehensive knowledge of istasna, inshallah. And we are going to, inshallah, do it. Huh? Okay, now here comes another thing, brothers and sisters. In the istasna mufarraq, the sentence is always, underline it, highlight it, brothers and sisters, always. What is always? Negative, prohibitive, or interrogative. Huh? Okay. Ah. <laughs> you are right, sister Mena. It is an nafyu, an nahyu, or it is al istifam. Huh? If you have a sentence, then what will you call that sentence? Huh? 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 Okay, what will you call that sentence? It's coming. Huh? Okay. But here, this is a little uh, introduction of what will the uh, sentence which we call mufarraq will have? It will have negation. Are you with me? It will have negation. Okay. But on top of negation, mufarraq will not have mustasna minhu. Are you with me? Mustasna minhu is missing from a sentence which is mufarraq. Plus it will have negation. So we have got lots of sign to figure out. Inshallah. And we are going to study it. Okay. The sentence containing istasna is also of two kinds. This is very easy, brothers and sisters. An affirmative sentence called mujabun. Okay. Look at this sentence, brothers and sisters. Iftahin nawafiza illal akhirata. Open the window except the last one. Is there any kind of negation there? No. Remember, negation means a nafu, which is either ma or la, and nahyu is la nahya. And istifam is a hal or man or anything. Okay, fine. So this, we will call it mujabun. Huh? Okay, what is the mujabun coming from? Aujaba. It is coming from? Aujaba. What is the meaning of aujaba? To make something obligatory. Huh? From vajaba. Huh? What will be the mudarya? Yujibu. What will be the ism file? Mu Jibun. What will be ism maful? Mu Jabun. But from the grammar point of view, Mu Jabun means affirmative. What does it mean, brothers and sisters? It means affirmative. Got the idea? Inshallah. So, if I say, Gairu Mujabin, what will be the meaning of it? It has negation. Huh? Are you with me? I will write down. Huh?
means negation. And how many kinds of negation? An nahyu, an nafyu, and then istifam. I say it again, brothers and sisters. An nafyu, an nahyu, and istifam. Fine. A negative, prohibitive, or interrogative sentence is called غَيْرُ mujabin. Huh? Now here are the examples, brothers and sisters. مَا غَابَتُ اللَّابُ إِلَّا إِبْرَاهِيمَ Slash Ibrahimu. What is the meaning of this, brothers and sisters? After إِلَّا both are permissible. You can have marfu or mansu. But I want to ask you something, brothers and sisters. What is Ibrahim? Mustasna. What is it? Mustasna. Are you with me? Okay. Is there Mustasna Minu there? Yes, Tullabu. Huh? So in other words, this sentence, huh? this sentence is Mutasil. What is it? Mutasil. And at the same time, it is Tamun. Are you with me? What is the meaning of Tamun? It has both. Huh? And Mutasil means both match each other. But then at the same time, we have a negation. So what will you call this? So I am writing here something, brothers and sisters. Huh? This sentence is Tamun Mutasilun And then what shall I write? Gairu Mujabin Got the idea, brothers and sisters? We are going to understand and identify sentences. Okay? Fine. Because the use of Illa is so much in Quran. Uh, they've got to understand it, inshallah. Now, what will you call this? Maghab? Uh, it's the negation, simple negation. What is it? An nafyu. Write down An nafyu. Uh, you want me to write it, inshallah. Brother, An Enough you. Okay. Next sentence, brothers and sisters. La yakhruj. Now what is this? La yakhruj. La nahiya. Huh? La yakhruj ahdun. Illa al jududa. Or al jududu. No one should leave except the new ones. Okay. Again, I ask you, there is a negation. So, what will you call this? An nahyu. What will you call it? An nahyu. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, where is the Mustasna? Al Judud. Where is the Mustasna Minhu? Is it there? Ahdun. So they, are they of the same kind? Yes, they are of the same kind. So what will you call this? Tamun, Mutasilun, and Gairu Mujibina. Okay. The last one. Hal Yarsubu Ahadun Illal Kasalana or Kasalanu. What will you call this, brothers and sisters? Istifam. Huh? Istifham. I will write down. Huh? Al is tif ha mu. Three kinds, which when it is used in the sentence with if dasna illa will make the sentence gairu 
Mujab in huh? fine brothers and sisters. Now I want to write down something on the board again. Huh? Are the idea, brothers and sisters? I wrote down on the board there are four kinds. Okay, today is the first day. If you do not understand 100%, don't worry. But tomorrow you will be strong and you will understand everything. I am trying to make it, you know, in a way, inshallah which is very simple and easy to understand. I had a little problem in understanding. So when I understood it, now I want to show you from my understanding. Okay, brothers and sisters? Okay. Al-Mustasna after illa. In the istasna, Munkateon, brother and sister, the mustasna is always mansub. Huh? What is it, brother and sister? The always mansub. The doctor sahib has started with munkate. Now, where is munkate here? Hmm? It should be Always Mansub. What should be Mansub? Mustasna. It should always be Mansub. Fine. Likulli da'in dawa'un illal maut. See, mauta. It's Mansub. What is mauta? Mustasna. Where is Mustasna Minhu? Dawa'un. Dawa'un. Okay? Okay. So it means the sentence is Tamun. Are you with me? The sentence is Tamun. Huh? But it is not Mutasil. Because ta- when you say Tamun, means Mustasna and Mustasna Minhu both are there. Huh? But it is not muttasil because they don't uh, agree of the same kind. They are not of the same kind. Okay? Then it is munkate. If it is munkate, whether it is mujabun or whether it is gairu mujabin, uh, mustasna will always, always, always be mansu. Uh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Every sickness has a medicine except death. You know why? Death is not a sickness. So there are two different kinds, you know. In the Mustatna, Mutasil. Brothers and sisters, as soon as you say Mutasil or Munkati, it means they are tamun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yes. If the sentence is mujabun, the mustasna is mansur. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So I'll write down here. Huh? It should be mansur. Are you with me? Okay, and here it will be. I will write down here again, brothers and sisters. Number one, it can be Mansu or it can, it can. Take 
the era of Ustasna Minhu. Inshallah, now it should be clear. Huh? Okay. If the sentence is mujabun, we are talking about uh, we are talking about tamun and mutasilun, uh, where the sentence has mustasna and mustasna minhu, and where the mustasna is of the same kind as mustasna minhu. Fine. The mustasna is always mansu. Here's an example, brothers and sisters. Yagafirullahu Yagafirullahu dhunuba Translation, brothers and sisters. Kullaha Allah forgives all the sins illa shirk. Except the shirk. Allah will forgive every sin if he wishes. Except the shirk. Remember, if he wishes, if Allah wishes, he will forgive you all the sins. Okay? Except the mistake of shirk. Fine, brother and sister. So, tell me, brother and sisters, where is the mustasna minhu in this sentence? Zunuba. Zunuba. Huh? Huh? Okay? And then, the shirk has come. Huh? Ashirka. So what is it? Mustasna. So it has to be mansub. Are you with me? It has to be mansub. Because it is mujabun. Tamun. Muttaselun. Mujabun. Fine, brother and sister. If the sentence is gairu mujibin. If the sentence is if the sentence is Gairu Mujabin. There are two possibilities. What are they? The Mustasna may be Mansub. So what I have written here? It can be Mansub. Or may have the same Arab as the Mustasna Minu. Inshallah you will find that tomorrow your understanding is absolutely uh, clear cut, inshallah. Okay. Now remember one thing, brothers and sisters. It is Gairu Mujabin. What does it mean? It will have a negation. And how many kinds of negation? Three kinds. Uh, three kinds of negation will be there. Okay. And we will have two choices. Uh, how many choices? Two choices. But remember, it is tamun and mutasilun. On top of that, it is negation. Mujabun means affirmation. So it is very easy, inshallah. Okay, here is the first example of negative. Ma hadaratullabu illa hamidan or Hamidun. Both are possible. You have a choice. Okay, brothers and sisters. Is there a Mustasna Minu there? To love, huh? So it's there, huh? Okay. Are they same kind? Yes, they are same kind. So it is Mutasil. Huh? It is Tamun and it is Mutasil. But it is negation. So what choice I have? I can make it Mansub. Or it can have the same Arab. Now tell me, brothers and sisters, what is the Arab of Mustasna Minhu here? Marfu. So it means the Mustasna can be Marfu. Huh? So look at it. Illa Hamidan, which is the first one, it can be Mansu. Or Hamidun. It is possible because it is like a Tullabu. <coughs> Tullabu is. Marfu Suhamidun became Marfu. The students did not 
attend except Hamid. Now, brother and sister, next sentence. Ma saltu tulaba. Ma saltu tulaba. Illa Hamidan. Or next one. Hamidan. Are you with me? In both cases, it is same. But Ma has come. So it means it's Garu Mujib. Huh? It is, is it Tamun? Yes. yes. It is Muttasilun? Yes. Okay. So you have a choice. Hamidan is our first choice. It can be Mansub. Or it can take the Arab of Mustasla Minhu. Where is Mustasla Minhu? Tullaba. 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 Fine, brothers and sisters. Ma ittasaltu bittullabi illa hamidan or hamidin. Huh? Are you with me? Because if you say hamidan, which means you can have it mansu, or if you have hamidin, then it is taking the Arab of tullabi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? I did not contact the students except Hamid. Now we come to Anahyu. Prohibitive. La yakhruj ahdun illa uh, illa hamidan or hamidun. Where is Mustasna Minhu here? Ahdun. Marfu. So either you should make it mansu, which is permissible, or you can make it Marfu to match the Arab of the Mustasna Minhu. La tas'al ahdan. Don't ask anybody. Don't ask anyone. Illa hamidan or hamidan. Huh? Because if you say hamidan, which is permissible, and then it has to take the Arab of Mustasna Minhu. What is Mustasna Minhu? Ahdan. It's Mansur, huh? inshallah. Next one, brothers and sisters. I would like to finish the ch- uh, s- chapter. Inshallah, you will bear with me, brothers and sisters. La tatasil. What is this la here? La nahia. Because the fiel, mudari are all majzum. La tatasil. La tatasil bi ahdin. Translation. Do not contact anyone except Hamid. So Hamidan is normal. You can do it. Or if it has to take the Arab of Mustasna Minhu, then it will become Hamidin. Huh? MashaAllah. Now comes al istifham Now comes al istifham Interrogative. Hal gaba ahdun illa hamidan or hamidun. Because ahdun is your mustasna minhu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So the hamidun and hamidan both are permissible. Al raita ahdan. Did you see anyone? Illa hamidan and again hamidan. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Hal ittasalta. Hal ittasalta bi ahdin illa hamidan or hamidin. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now comes the other one. In the istasna mufarrag. Now, brothers and sisters, I ask you, what is Mufarrak? The Mustasna Minhu is not there. Only Mustasna is there. Are you with me? That means it's Mufarrak. Plus, the sentence is automatically, the sentence is Gairu Mujabin. Always, if, if it is Mufarrak, the sentence is automatically. So it's inshallah very simple. Huh? 
Here the mustasna does not have a fixed era. Huh? What is the era, brother? I will write it down. What did I write down, brothers and sisters? The era is taken from the context of the sentence. And there's another way of finding out the era. What is that way, brothers and sisters? That you remove illa, huh? just temporarily, huh? just for the time being. You put back the illa again. Huh? You take the illa. For the time being, to figure out the era, it means illa is not there, but it is there. But in order to find out, you remove illa temporarily. Okay, brothers and sisters, this is the easiest way of figuring out. Huh? Okay. Here the muslasna does not have a fixed era, it takes the era, it dissolves in the sentence. Huh? Ma rasaba illa bilalun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ma rasaba illa bilalun. There is no mustasna minu. Is there? Is there any mustasna minu there? So if you remove illa, what will be? Ma rasaba bilalun. So what is bilalun? File. Huh? It is file. Very good, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> no one failed except Bilal. Here the Mustafna Bilalun is file. To find out the Arab, it deserves omit illa and it will become clear to you. If we omit illa in the above sentence, we get ma rasaba Bilalun. And here Bilalun is the file. This is done only to find out the era. The meaning, of course, is the opposite of what the original sentence means. If you remove illa, then meaning is opposite. Okay? Ma rait illa bilalan. Got the idea? Mafulun bihi. Fine, brother and sister. I saw no one except bilal. Bilal is mafulun bihi as it is clear from maraitu bilalan. Huh? Next one, brothers and sisters. There is no problem with majroor as it is preceded by proposition. Ma bahastu illa an khalidin. So an is there, so you know it is majroor. Huh? I was looking for none except khalid. Ma darasna illa Bil jamiati, Islamiati. We did not study in any university except Islamic university. Okay, brothers and sisters. We have seen in lesson 27 that only the separable form of the pronoun is used after illa. Okay. Remember we have studied this? Mansub, Munfasil, Damir will come after illa. Uh, we have studied this before. So, la na'abudu illa yahu. Got the idea? What is yahu? Mafulun bi. We worship none but him. Not 
Allahu. We cannot say that. Because that who is mutasir. It, it cannot come like this. It has to be with the verb. Huh? Another example. Sa'ala al mudari subtu laba kullahum illa iyaka. Okay. The teacher asked all the students except you. Not illa ka. For now, next two minutes, I want to take you back, brothers and sisters. I hope I will not confuse you, but I will only make you strong. Huh? Look at this, brothers and sisters. Ma rasaba illa bilalun. Is there a Ustasna Minu there? No. I want you to put it. What will you say? Ma rasaba ahdun. When you put ahdun, then it, the picture changes. Okay? Then it is no longer mufarrag, but it is tamun. Huh? Are you with me? It became tamun. Huh? What I am trying to emphasize is that you will have to understand sometimes that how the sentence can become tamun and can become mufarrak huh? by the absence or presence of mustasna menu. Next sentence, brothers and sisters. Ma raitu illa bilalan. I want you to make this from mufarrak into tam. What will you say? Ma raitu ahdan. Mafurun bihi. Ahdan. Are you with me? Did you get the idea? Alhamdulillah. Now we say, Ma bahastu. Ma bahastu. Put now here, Ustasna minhu. An ahdin. What will you say? An ahdin. Are you with me? I'll write down. Huh? Ma illa. I have two choices now. Either I make it bilalan, eh, or I should follow the example of this. So I will say, illa bilalan, or bilalin. Are you with me? If I say bilalin, then I am taking the era from the mustasna minhu. Otherwise, I can also use bilalan. So, what kind of a sentence is this now, brothers and sisters? Tamun mutasilun gairu moshib. Okay, brothers and sisters, now remo re remove this. Uh, I'm removing it now. Okay. Ma bastu illa an. Then I have no choice but to make it an bilalin. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now what kind of a sentence is now? What will you call it? Mufarrak. Huh? Why Mufarrak? There is no Mustasna Minu there. Put Mustasna Minu, it is no longer Mufarrak, but it can be Tam. It is Tam. It can be Muttasil or it can, it can be Munkate also. Huh? But if it is Muttasil, and because of ma, it became gairu mojibin. Inshallah, you'll try to revise it. Brothers and sisters, I end here. We'll carry on with this again tomorrow. And uh, we'll understand this, and then we'll do the lesson, inshallah. But reading it at home, in the light of whatever I have explained here, and you have written the notes, it will help you, inshallah. 
ربنا آتینا فی دنیا حسنتا و فی الآخرتی حسنتا و کینا عذاب النار ربنا حب لنا من ازواجینا و ذریعتینا قرت آئین و جعلنا للمتقین اماما ربنا تقبل منا انکا انتا سمیع العلیم و توب علینا انکا انتا تواب رحیم سبحان ربکا رب العزت اما یسیفونا وسلام على المرسل